It's very similar to the Earth, but it's also very different. The one thing we know about the Moon is it is not the Earth. Armstrong and Aldrin collected 21 kilograms of samples on the first one. The, one of the first things that uh, Armstrong did after he, he got out was to grab a sample and put it in his pocket. So it was very important that he got a sample back. When they went, there was three ideas about where the Earth and the Moon came from. What Apollo did was actually it threw away 200 years of theories and actually after Apollo, science was worse off. We had no idea where the Moon came from. And NASA has sent samples to every country in the world. We'd like to share a piece of this rock with so many of the countries throughout the world. We hope that this will be a symbol of what our feelings are, what the feelings of the Apollo program are, and a symbol of mankind that we can live in peace and harmony in the future. This is the official STFC Apollo collection from the moon. Uh, and in recent years, NASA has been very keen to find out where its samples went. Some of these samples have gone missing, and some of them have actually been, been sold on the black market. And it's actually employed for a year an FBI agent to go to every country in the world to try and find them their Apollo samples. He's only found 78 of them. There are about 140 countries in the world, so there's about 60 or 70 samples missing somewhere, but he hasn't been able to track down. But they are very valuable and very important for, for future science as well as present science. This is one of the things on, if you ever see the video for Apollo 17, it's where the astronauts got very, very excited. Because when they were moving their feet on the surface, they kicked up orange soil. They got very, very excited about this because they were trained on Earth and they were trained that they were looking for volcanic vents which would have orange soil. So they got very excited thinking that they'd found what they were looking for. They'd found something very interesting but it wasn't a volcanic vent, unfortunately, it was something else. Um, the white bit, or bits of the moon, which actually is most of the moon, it's about two thirds of the side that we see, but it's nearly all of the side that we don't see, but the astronauts did see on the other side. And it's called a northosite. A northosite is an extremely rare mineral on Earth. It's only tiny bits of it in, in, in places like Canada. Uh, but it's what the whole moon is made of. So it what this tells us is, that the moon is very different from the Earth. And it also tells us that almost certainly the astronauts went to the moon. Uh, it's not a well-known story, but the Russians also went to the moon with little tiny robots, and they, they, they brought back samples themselves. And so the Russians knew in a, as well what the moon was made of. So when the scientists analyzing the, the lunar samples came, from Apollo came back and said, the moon's made of an orthosite, the Russians were able to say, yes, it is. And it's one of the, for me as a scientist, it's one of the main reasons why I believe the astronauts went to the moon. So that's the collection we have, and it's a really exciting thing to have in my hand.